Hi, I'm Tony Maserati. Today I'd like to demonstrate the C4. Now most of you know this plugin as a multiband compressor. And of course it is that and it does that really well. What I've been using it for lately is to allow me to compensate for uh, say, in this case, a singer's voice as it goes through different registers throughout the song. Let, let me just demonstrate it for you. I'm going to work with an artist on Mirrorball Entertainment named Cody Longo. And this is a song called She Said. I'll play a little short snippet of this. Don't tell me your name. I don't care what it is. Don't know where you're from. Don't care where you live. Cut to the chase I'm not playing games With your heart, babe I'll be Okay, so you can hear that He's a bit A bit too much uh, In the area of uh, Maybe 240 Somewhere in there Could be 300 um, So I want to reduce that a little bit And instead of e using an equalizer I'd like to try um, Using the C4 now I've got a preset already, so I can just go into my uh, into my my settings and just load one, which is great. And I've got it set from oh, about 100 to 600 hertz, and I'll solo that frequency for you. She said, "Don't tell me your name. I don't care what it is. Don't know where you're from. Don't care where you live." Now you can see that's where I want to reduce. Now I've already got it set, but I can change the threshold, the attack and release. The attack and release are, are extremely important, and I'll show you why. Here he is soloed with uh, the C4 engaged. Don't tell me your name, I don't care what it is. Don't know where you're from, don't care where you live. Let's cut to the... And I'll play the same section in bypass. Don't tell me your name, I don't care what it is. Don't know where you're from, don't care where you live. Let's cut to the chase. I'm not playing games. Okay, I'm gonna put the C4 back in. And we're gonna get a little more radical with it. I'm gonna I'm gonna make the attack a bit quicker. Now the reason why the attack is so important is because your ear if you could trick the ear, if you allow the ear to hear just a little bit of a particular thing and then take it away, depending on how quick the rhythm is, your ear will be totally satisfied and think it's a full frequency. Obviously, if it's a, if it's a legato note, that's a different story, and we, we've got to deal with that. But, but in a case like this, it's very rhythmic. So I can give the ear just a tiny bit of the attack and, and actually slow the release down so that it lasts for almost the rhythm of those bits. And let's see how that works. Don't tell me your name, I don't care what Maybe it a little is. quicker don't on know the where you're from. release. Don't care where you live. So let's it doesn't hold too long. I'm, not playing games. I'm gonna quicken the attack a little bit and I'm actually gonna grab a little bit more of that lower frequency as well. Don't tell me your name, I don't care what it is. Don't know where you're from. Don't care. And I'm gonna where quicken the live. attack on that Let's as well. To the chase. I'm, not I'm also gonna games. give myself a little bit more range. Heart, so I'm reducing more. I'll be just fine if you decline. I'm not I'm going up the home frequency. Alone I'm at 651 now and hundred down below. Your mind. Don't waste my time. But really, it might as well be you, babe. Finding the, the correct attack and release times is really the key. Uh, also, finding the amount of uh, gain reduction that you want in that frequency. Uh, another thing that I quite often do is I'll push the, the more uh, audible frequencies. Um, so I'll give them a bit of gain like this, the things that sort of give him presence, right? And then I'll chop them. So I'll grab them after that. I'll take them down just to the amount that they're up, right? So it gives the ear, again, 
an appearance like it's it's you hear something and then it, and then I'm controlling it. So all of this is about control, of course, right? And I'll do the same thing here. Again, allowing that to grab relatively quickly. I want it to just kind of pop out and, and then get grabbed. Let's see what that does. Don't tell me your name, I don't care what it is Don't know where you're from, don't care where you live Let's cut to the chase, I'm not playing games With your heart, babe I'll be just fine if you decline I'm not going And you can hear that it gets duller here tonight. Make up Obviously, uh, I did this quickly but um, you get the point that I can manipulate the characteristic of the frequency content instead of just EQing a whole bunch of something that I don't like out, which may only be right for a small spot. I mean, look at this particular place where he holds this note. Alone tonight. Now, if I bypass that. Alone tonight. Now, that section right Alone there, tonight. you can see what's being reduced here is, is a small fraction of what might Tell be me your name. reduced in some of the other spots. Is. Don't know where you're from. Don't care where you live. So pay attention to what's happening here. You can hear how it's, it's, it's reacting differently to the different frequency content. I'm not playing games. With your heart, babe, I'll be just fine if you decline. I'm not going home alone tonight. Make up your mind. Don't this is a, a method that I use every day now. Uh, no matter which vocalist I'm working on, I find it to be uh, the most useful way of EQing a voice without removing the things uh, in their voice permanently for the whole song. It allows me to just control things a bit. Sometimes I put two C4s, and what I'll do with the second C4 is um, I will use just one band. If, you, if you've got a particularly harsh vocal, um, you can, uh, I've still got that soloed, I've still got the other C4 on, you can grab that harsh spot and obviously I'm going to solo this Get out of your head cuz it's time to escape we're just done. there's love to be made let's cut to the chase i'm not playing games it might as well be you babe okay so i'm going to see if we can yank that down obviously i don't want any gain there i just want to reduce and i'm going to want it probably pretty quick Get out of your head, cause it's right, time to escape. We're just having fun. There's love to be made. Let's cut to the chase. I'm not playing games. It might as well be you, babe. Okay, so you can see that it dulls it up. In this case, it might not be as harsh as as that treatment requires. Get out of your head, cause it's time to escape. We're just having fun. There's love to be made. Let's cut to But you can get the concept that you can use it to to focus in on something that you don't like and just pull it down. Uh, I recently was doing a mix of a Beyonce track. There was some uh, some singing and then uh, some breaths and the breaths were really loud. And I used a C4 because most of the singing uh, was a sort of a bass tone. And the breaths obviously were very specifically in this mid upper mid-range area. So I was able to actually equalize the breaths with that bass tone quite well to a point where I could control it, you know, in, in incremental dBs, which was really fantastic to get this mix correct. The idea of focusing um, your your equalization uh, and manipulating that the the attack of of those particular bands is really really useful uh, much more so than than just eqing something.